So today we are packing. I just got this order from Forever 21 as well as a couple other places. I'm gonna share everything that's in my bags for Turks and Caicos. We're gonna pack together today. We're gonna to do all of the adulting things. So usually whenever I do a pack with me, I almost get distracted and I'm already packed. I'm literally packing today. We are packing together. I just realized that I am leaving first thing tomorrow morning. Andre doesn't even have the luggage up here. So I'm gonna share everything that I got, all the accessories, how I pack. We're gonna try and minimize the amount of stuff. I got a bunch of cute stuff from Amazon. Everything's super affordable for the most part. So let's jump into this. So first thing, the luggage itself is adorable. I love it. There's a ton of room. It's extra large, which I need and it matches my duffel. So my duffel is over there. I'm gonna grab it after and show you guys my carry-on, but there is a logic behind this. So one, it's really pretty. It's by Delcy. I will link it for you guys. I think you can get it at like Macy's or something like that. It is like a luxury luggage. I have gone through so many luggages in my life. I have a very strong opinion of luggages. I used to have this in white. Don't get it in white. My carry-on version, like my little rolly is white of this. That's the only exception because it's gonna get wrecked and you're gonna get sad. So I got a dark brown one to match the duffel. Like I said, I will share the duffel, but there's so much room in here and I freaking love it. I got a bunch of bathing suits from Amazon. Let's talk about those first. I had placed an order with, I think, Zafool and it was taking for freaking ever, so I actually ended up canceling it, but they have stuff on Amazon, so same sames. Now I'm trying to figure out which bathing suits I actually wanna bring. Like really, we don't, we don't need this much stuff, Angie. So I separated my new bathing suits from my older bathing suits that I've already worn. So I have this little pile of like potentials that I was thinking. This is from Victoria's Secret. I thought the bottom was super cute. And then the top that doesn't go with it, but is also very cute. And it is by Monsi Swim. I will link it for you guys. It's literally stunning. And then I have this one piece that I just like, I freaking love the petals on it. And I think this was from Zaful or something like that. So those are ones that I already have. So I feel like my new bathing suits need a moment. So let's talk about the new bathing suits. I'm a very big believer in bringing one pieces as well as bikinis because you never know how you're gonna feel once you're there. You know, you might have all the island vibes and be like, I just wanna wear next to nothing or I'm feeling a little bit bloated today and I wanna wear one piece. So here is kind of my compromise. My one pieces are very adorable. They're not like, they don't make you feel blah at all. They're so cute. I have these in so many colors. And when I found these on Amazon, I was like, yes. So I have this in blue and I have it in like an army green, but I didn't have it in a banana leaf print. So look at how cute this is. So this is the banana leaf print one that I have and it dips down really, really low, but there's support on the inside. There's cups on the inside and a back strap. So it's as though you're wearing a two piece, if that makes sense, like the one C how there's like the support that you need underneath. So it's not like you're gonna go all over the place. And then the back is all open and crisscrossed in the back. Isn't this like, I love it. So I got this color and I got black with white. I'm, I'm feeling very like a black moment for this trip. Like I got so much stuff, like this dress, crochet stuff. It is what it is. Then I got these from Zafool. So I love a strapless, I feel like this is not shocking to anybody. If you've been here for longer than five minutes, you know that I always wear strapless everything. I barely ever wear a bra. That's why I always do strapless and then a flounce because the bubbies can be under and then this second layer just ensures that nothing <laughs> shows. So I always like to do a strapless bathing suit then because then the tan matches the clothing. And also it's just more comfortable. So I have this little pineapple print. Hopefully I fit in it, like really. And then these are some like little cheeky, low-waisted pineapple bottoms in black off of Amazon. Then I got, I feel like this one's a little bit better quality. Like this I'll fit into. There's cups in here. I just feel like it's got its act together a little bit more. So just plain black and then with a high-waisted black bottom. I thought that was cute. Okay, so what are we, we're at four. What does a normal girl bring for a five-day vacation? But it's not just a five day vacation. We're going to Turks for five days and then we're flying back to Fort Lauderdale for like the rest of the month. So, although at the house in Florida, I like have my closet there with all my clothes. So I feel like, <laughs> I know what my husband's gonna say, don't act a fool, Angie. So this is my other one piece. So these are from Aerie. I thought this was so cute. And I want to say that I don't think that many people would be able to pull off this color. It's a very like, it's a very mustardy, but I like it. I feel like a dark complexion could, Maybe a blonde could work too. I don't know. I At first I thought it was reversible. 
It in fact is not just the inside is pink, but I just, I've never had a strapless one piece and there's extra strappies if you need it. And then the, op the open part is very flattering because it just shows your top two abs, which I feel like even on bad days, some of us still have those, so <laughs> we're good. And then this black bathing suit was also from Aerie. Again, I was feeling the black, so it's like a ribbed. And then this is just a plain tank top type of top. So I've got some Bondo styles, I've got some one pieces. What are we at now? Oh my gosh. So I have three one pieces and three bikinis. That's reasonable, right? <laughs> if we're being honest, I'm probably just only gonna wear bathing suits and tricks and geckos. So we're renting a villa for our coaches. So this is the deal. Hopefully this video can go up once we're there because I wanna show you guys what I got them and I don't want them to see their gifts before. But we are taking our top coaches to Turks and Caicos because it's a very special place to us. But we wanted to do something big. Like we didn't just wanna get, obviously that would still be sweet, but we didn't just wanna take them to a resort and kind of let them do their thing. We wanted to get, we wanted to do it like Real Housewives style. So I wanted to get like a villa and possibly have a chef, take them out to dinner and just chill. So this place is insane. I'm considering doing a house tour of it. So that's something you guys wanna see. Let me know, let me know. All right, so we've got our bathing suits covered. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna bring all the extra ones. Like, let's just, let's be minimalists. I so appreciate the minimalists that follow me because I realize that I'm anything but, but I would love to be. It would be my biggest, I would be so happy. Okay, I love crochet. I love crochet everything. So let's keep the Forever 21 stuff for a second. This is also what I got from Aerie. It's like a little, I feel like Ramona from Real Housewives of New York. Everything I have is macrame. I'll get my act together. So it's like a little, they also had it in beige, a little bathing suit cover up. So this is definitely coming. And then let's move on to Forever 21. So the whole purpose of the Forever 21 order, if you've also, again, if you've been here longer than five minutes, you know that I have a massive noggin. Not, no, I'm not saying my brain, I'm just saying my head. No hats ever fit me. I have extra, extra large. Little, little egg up here. So Forever 21 has sizes in their hats. Girl can't have enough hats, so I got some hats. So we're gonna test them out together right now. So the Forever 21 order consisted of two hats, this dress, and then this super cute, more macrame, a little macrame, little skirt tie thingy, because I really do think I'm just gonna live in bathing suits and cover-ups. I know how I am in the tropics. I turn into a mermaid and I don't wear makeup and I just embrace the heat. Okay, let's let the hair down by the way you guys my hair is so much healthier than it was this time last year like I'm just so for and it's growing look at the health and the volume and the life that I have oh my goodness I think someone just literally like five minutes ago I saw a comment on doing a hair routine video I'm on it and like sharing what I use okay so this is is this it? I think it's large, extra large is the way that the sizes work. It's like small, medium, or large, extra large. Oh my gosh, I love it. You guys, secret, I feel like my husband doesn't like when I wear hats. I love it, I love it. Oh my goodness, and I love the puka shells. I'll share my jewelry with you guys in a second. I did like a 12 piece jewelry order from Amazon and it was so dirty cheap and it's amazing and there's layered necklaces and I know you guys are gonna ask me where I got them. So I'm gonna share it before we leave. Do we like? See why I need it? This is an extra freaking large and I can't even get it like all the way down. I have huge noggin. Okay, that's one. And then this one's even bigger. And I'll show you guys also how I pack my hats. This is a, this is a full moment. This is like, I love it. Okay, so the way that I pack them, I will show you. So I usually put them right in the middle of the luggage. I'll stack them. I'll figure out which one's bigger than the other. And then I pick the flat side of the luggage. So I'll put it down like this, and then I'll usually stuff, usually my underwear or my socks <laughs> under the hole in the middle so that it can stay puffy and not get collapsed. And then I will pack around it. So really it doesn't take up that much room. All right, so more cover-ups. I have this like romper, see-through type of cover-up that's again, crocheted. This is from Venus, which I don't even know if that still exists. I got this from a little store in Fort Lauderdale, but I'm sure I can find one. It's like a long maxi, but it's pretty sheer and lightweight. So that would definitely be considered a cover up, which you could wear a cover up to dinner in the tropics. It doesn't even matter. I'm obsessed with this. 
love this little, love this little guy, the little colors. I wore this one in Greece for like two seconds and I feel like it goes really well with my beach bag also. So I will link everything that I can for you guys. I have these pants from Vichy. I don't know how I feel about them. We'll see. Okay, so this is definitely coming. More macrame. This is definitely coming. I'm not sure about that romper. I'm trying to be realistic here, like what I'm actually gonna wear. I love, love, love this cover up. So this I think is from Cupshe, but I'm pretty sure you get it anywhere, like Amazon or whatever. So it's like a long, which way does it go? Yeah, it's like a long kind of kimono style cover up. This is gonna come. Basically I have zero normal people clothing. And then I have this, which I have no idea where this is from. I'm, I'm guessing Forever 21. This is totally sheer also. Like just when you think if anything is covered, it's not. I think this is really cute too, but I'm not sure. I feel like if things have had their moment, I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Okay, then dresses. So I have this, which is the Free People amazing dress. I have this in pink also. Freaking love this, and even if you have bubbies, it holds you in because there's a back tie. It's kind of the same idea as the bathing suits. And I have more macrame. This is from Venus, which needs a slip underneath, or I could just wear a bathing suit. I love this dress. I just don't know if I want to be that bougie. But it's super, it's like skanky underneath. Like it's just a bathing suit. It's like a one piece bathing suit underneath, but it's so freaking nice. Like, oh, I love it. And it's just beachy and the bottom is all sheer. Like this is completely sheer. It's very sexy. Okay. And then I've got this little guy, little crocheted surprise, surprise strapless romper, which I feel like you guys have seen. I love this dress. I feel like this one needs to come. So this is like a really long blue maxi and the middle part, like be right below my knees is all sheer. More macrame. You guys, I'm a gypsy at heart. Okay. So I have more than enough cover-ups. I have one dinner dress and I have a crap ton of bathing suits. Let's do this as a dinner dress. More macrame, more crochet. This one's super pretty also. And I love that color. Okay, okay, we're doing good. We have two dresses now and I'm probably gonna fly in a bodysuit and these little pants from Fabletics. They're so freaking cute. These pants, I've talked about them so much. They're like the stretchiest, most adorable. So freaking cute. Okay, so that's gonna go with that stuff. Let me show you my jewelry. Okay, so this is, <laughs> it's not practical. This is my jewelry holder. I lay everything flat. I've got my puka shells and everything in here. I freaking love it and everything is just organized. Well, it's gonna be organized, not organized right now. And there's little hooks for every single necklace. I love it. So see, I've got, I can, I'll dishevel all of these, but I got this puka necklace and then this, I don't know, other shell necklace. And then I have this layered one that has a shell and then a gold shell on it. So I'm gonna wear that. I'm gonna organize this whole thing and then you can put your earrings in here and you can put your necklaces in here. So I'm gonna organize that right now. I'm definitely gonna pack this, my Dyson Air Wrap, and then as well as the volumizing brush. This is what I got the girls. I got them each their own little beach bag and then they have personalized gift inside. Like um, two of the girls are getting married, two of the other girls, just had babies. So we're gonna do that. This one's for Danae. This one's for Emily. Isn't this so cute? I had to get one for myself. So they have banana leaves on them. And this one has, you can hear the gifts in this one. So I got them each a handwritten card. I wrote their cards last night. So maybe we'll take like a cute picture with all of our beach bags. So my plan is to ask my darling husband to put those in his luggage because he packs really, really light and in five minutes flat. Oh, this is gonna be one of the dresses for dinner. One, two, three, three, four. Oh, I'm good. I don't know if I wanna wear this. If I'm being honest, that's what I feel like I don't like about this is the slip underneath. If I just have a bathing suit underneath, I feel like that'll be cuter. 
Okay, let's try that. Shoot it to me straight. Do we like this or is it like, is it matronly? I feel like it's a little bit matronly. Like, do you see why with a slip it would be even more matronly? And I just, I think the sleeves, you know what? It had its, I feel like it had its moment. You guys let me know in the comments, do I pack this or not? And I've got the black dress. I need to pack a little bit of workout clothes. I'll probably just pack like shorts and a bra top, like, and just wash them or something. Usually I'll do that with like little Tide packs. I'll wash them in the sink and hang them. Oh, it probably has a washing machine. It's a house, so. All right, and then let's talk about the carry-on really quickly. Do you wanna see the fastest go-to hairstyle that you can do in the islands? Okay, 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 okay. One, two, three, go. All right, new bag, love this bag. I'm gonna, probably gonna fly with this. No, I'm gonna pack this. Yeah, I'm gonna pack that because that's more for Florida. Okay, I've got my Ziplocs ready to go. I'm gonna pull my things in there. I have pens and pencils in here. Uh, more markers. My carry-on. Hi, do you want to say something? I'm gonna say hello to everybody. This is Carl. Do you know that I'm leaving? Is that why you're saying hello? Carl's gonna go to boot camp soon. See, you're getting ready for boot camp. Getting ready for, we're training him right now. Oh, five years too late. It's gonna be your birthday while I'm gone. You're gonna post on your Instagram? You're gonna manage your Instagram while I'm gone? It's a hefty five pounder except last time you put on weight and then you got all the way up to eight pounds, which we're not gonna speak of, it's okay. Oh, I will show you guys the sunglasses that I'm packing. I'm only packing two, which is very unlike me. I've got these pink ones. And then these are the ones that I've been wearing a ton and they're so lightweight, it's insane. Love, searched high and low for these suckers. So really quickly, I wanna show you guys my duffel and why it's so freaking awesome. First of all, it fits everything. <laughs> and you can do a carry-on and a personal item. So usually I'll do this as my carry-on and my personal items like my, I don't know, like my tote purse. So there's a front pocket and it totally matches the style of the bag, right? So there's a front pocket in here. And then this is literally why I bought the bag. This is so that it can latch on to, like sit on the top of your luggage. So that wraps around the handlebars of your luggage and you can be an organized, civilized human that is as organized as a flight attendant. Like, you know whenever you see a flight attendant or a pilot going through the airport and they just have their act together? The other thing that helps is having a husband that helps you carry your stuff. All right, that is pretty much everything. I hope you guys enjoyed literally this time packing with me. I'm still gonna keep going, but you now know everything that I'm bringing. Packed half my luggage. I'm gonna put the rest in the other side. Like toiletries and stuff like that, my bag, my my Dyson, and we're off tomorrow. So make sure that you guys are following along on Instagram. All of the stories are on my at Angie Belmar page. I'll be vlogging it as well. Vlo my vlog Instagram is basically just the behind the scenes, super quick IGTVs that are usually hilarious and very, very raw and real and honest, which is pretty much like this channel, but that's just like on a whole other level. Carl has an Instagram page. I've got a Disney page. I will link everything down below for you guys. Make sure that you are subscribed, hit the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up if you guys liked it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.